Good afternoon, it's Joe Neighbour from Signal Center, and today I'm going to run through my chart setup on Euro Swiss. Going to take a look at the weekly, daily, and four hour charts, and going to give you an idea of how I'm looking to play this for the week ahead. So, starting off with the weekly chart, there's a confluence of levels that I've highlighted here around about 1200 uh, down to 1.1165. Now, this is uh, a Fibonacci line that I've drawn here from the highs. Um, in 2018 to the lows that we saw in 2015 and also from the lows here in 2017 again back to these highs in 2018 so two, uh, two big levels drawn the Fibonacci lines on and we have a 38.2% of the big move coming in at 11106 and we have a 61.8% from the smaller move coming in at 11.52 and we also have this reaction high here in February 2016 acting as support as we can see on numerous occasions over the last few months or so dating back to September 2018 so I've been interested in this level uh, we've had obviously this move down over the last few weeks or so so I've been waiting to see if some support did hold and what we've got here is a bullish hammer candle bang on the support level so we did make a, a new low I imagine flushed out quite a few positions there but we've managed to recover that and we're holding above it now and now we potentially formed a bit of a range here so there is opportunities to play on the long side now if we take a look at this range on the daily chart you can see it's been pretty consistently moving in this band here for the last few months going back to that September 18 level that uh, that we mentioned earlier um, we've got all these sort of buying candles or reversal candles starting to form around here uh, closed above the 10 period moving average on the daily chart and we are as it stands about to produce a bullish engulfing candle on today's chart so drilling into the four hours what I'm looking at here is this sequence of higher lows in the short term um, and potentially some sort of continuation pattern forming here some sort of flag that uh, appears to be taking shape. Now I've set my order today to buy on a break um, of 1.12.20. If that closes above there on the four hour candles then I think we could see a move higher towards this level of resistance here which is uh, coming in at 1.13.45 and I've just highlighted this previous low here as sort of the target area um, on the four hour setup. So looking to buy Euro Swiss um, looking to buy that on a break on the intraday charts. I'm going to remain bullish as long as it holds above these key levels here. Taking a bit more of an aggressive stance in terms of a, a shorter term trade here by placing a stop at 111.85. So pretty decent risk reward, 3.8. That will do quite nicely if it does play out this week. Just looking at the alternative view, just to give you um, the alternative picture if we do below, break below these key levels here that we've got at... Uh, 111.20. If we get below there, then I'm really targeting down here over the uh, over the uh, shorter to medium term. But for now, quite think well, I think there's quite a bit of upside potential in Euro Swiss, so I'm going to be looking at buying a break at 112.20.